Okay, this is a video I've wanted to make for some time. It's uh, just kind of highlights some of the geekiness around my house here. And for obvious reasons, I'm going to leave a lot of stuff that's deployed here out because it has to do with my home security. Uh, one of my favorite things here is I uh, took a computer, stuck a Raspberry Pi Zero behind it. I use a service called Backboard, and that gives me uh, calendar functions time, temperature, weather, and then a news feed. And then down in the corner, it shows my to-dos. And I always thought that was pretty neat. And I installed another outlet behind the TV so there's no wires hanging down. And down here, of course, I have an Alexa. And my home is largely voice controlled. Uh, Alexa, turn on LED strip. Alexa, turn on LED strip. And you can see there, I've got my uh, arch here lit up. I've got LEDs laying on top of that. And Alexa, turn on front room fan. Okay. So a whole lot of my home, uh, a lot of the critical functions are, are voice activated, which I think is kind of cool. So let's walk in here to the front room. But first, this is one of two routers. This is an R7800 Netgear, and it's running OpenWRT. And I also have an SDR device on here that I can remote into from anywhere, so I can listen to local radio and stuff from anywhere I want to. Uh, this is a box I built. This is one of my ham radio boxes. This is a uh, DMR, digital radio. And uh, I built this with a Raspberry Pi, a DV Mega board, and a Nexon screen display, which I programmed, which is pretty cool. Of course, somebody else did it all. I just copied it. So, off we go to the front room. And this was probably my first toy here. This is a Roland GX24, uh, which is a vinyl sign cutter. And you can use it to make, you know, take this vinyl and cut designs and things out of, like... Uh, Let's see if I've got something that's cut out. Here's a Toyota sticker that I did once uh, with the little Toyota horns on it. Uh, over here is something pretty neat. Uh, a friend of mine from Okinawa gave me this Stax electrostatic headphone system. And uh, these things are really expensive and he just gave it to me. And uh, I've got it plugged in to a digital analog converter, and then that's the controller for the electrostatic headphones. Uh, over here is a 3D printer that I built from a kit that was real cheap. It only cost a couple hundred bucks, and then I modified it. I put a whole new print head on it. I put something called lead screws on it. Uh, makes it much more stable, makes the layers much better. And uh, this thing works like a champ, and it's just a, a $200 hunk of junk that I bought and then modified. Of course, you don't want to know how much money I put into it. Uh, over here is the primary 3D printer. This is a um, Prusa i3 Mark II S, which is almost the top of the line one. There's a Mark III out now, but, you know, that's another $800 bill or so. So this is... Uh, my front room dog's starting to act up. He don't like it when I get get to talking on the phone or anything too much. Okay, so uh, let's drag in to the other room. And as you look around, you can see that I have radios, shortwave radios and stuff stashed all over the place. And usual disclaimer here, you know, the house is a little bit of a mess, but you know, what the heck. Uh, here's my front room. This is uh, my LS3 uh, 5A loudspeakers. They cost as much as a new car or small car. Uh, this is a Fisher 500B that was restored many years ago. This is a Dynaco ST70 tube amplifier. Bottlehead 4-play preamp. And this is a Pioneer SX650 that I saved from the trash heap. Actually, I bought it on uh, Craigslist and you know, picked it up real cheap and restored it. 
this is my Mac Mini server that's hooked up to the TV as a media server. This is a shit uh, digital analog converter and shit makes some pretty good shit and uh, this feeds my stereo and of course I can listen to the TV and all that stuff on it. Raspberry Pi here is the home automation. It runs a program called uh, Home Automation. Home Assistant is the name of the program, I'm sorry. This is my Ubuntu home server. This runs a machine to machine protocol and it's responsible for controlling a lot of the Z-Wave switches and fans and things like that around the house. This is my FreeNAS uh, file server. It's like 16 terabyte server that I built. It also runs a couple media servers. And this little guy down here is just a backup. I have it programmed with an IP address. It's not turned on, but if one of these guys over here goes down, I can just pop this guy in so I'm not without. Uh, over here is an outer net receiver. It's a satellite receiver and uh, it pulls in something called the outer net which is the internet in space you know we got the internet that's the outer net this is my guest network router this is a Synology router uh, over here I got a headphone amp next to the chair this is a bottle head uh, crack and all the vinyl sign work I did did myself here so that's just a fraction of the geekiness the worst of it is yet to come. Oh, ham radios all over the place. Analog Baofeng ham radio uh, that I don't use a whole lot, but you never know. In an emergency, it might come in kind of handy. And here's the bedroom. This is my Linux laptop. And this is where I do all kind of mad science experiments. I have stacks and stacks and stacks of shortwave radios uh, from all different eras all the way back to the 60s and 70s and such like that. Uh, another Windows laptop. This is my SDS100 police scanner that I'm really having lots and lots of fun with here these days. And this is a C-Crane 2E AM radio that's a long distance uh, AM radio. Down here, I got a couple Raspberry Pis uh, that are doing police scanner duty. The blue one's not plugged in. This guy in the box here streams to a service called Broadcastify and puts the New Bern police um, up on the internet for those of you that have the phone apps and things like that. Uh, over here, I got another Raspberry Pi. That's a music server for the bedroom here. It's hooked to some more shit. Uh, that's a shit Modi and a shit Magni, also good shit. And this is a Pioneer SX950, which is like my favorite 1970s receiver in the whole wide world. And down here I got another shortwave radio hidden. And this is another bottlehead crack headphone amplifier. Uh, I took this one and I put a Raspberry Pi underneath it and I hooked an LCD up to it and when it plays music it displays the song name and title and how much time's left and all that kind of thing and it was done with some Python code that somebody else wrote so in a pinch this is the geekiness this doesn't count all the home automation stuff that I don't want to show and it doesn't show all the stuff stacked up in the closet as well and uh, that's that that's the tour Enjoy.